How do of you delicious people? Today I'm coming to Marvel Strike Force today as just kind of an update. An update just because I'm kind of like, I'm in much better graces. Graces meaning I'm in like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. Especially the last episode I just like, I think the last episode of Marvel Strike Force I was just kind of like complaining to complain honestly. Um, but ultimately, like, some of my stuff that I was saying was justifiable, uh, but some people might not exactly feel that way. Um, and some people might, uh, think that I don't know at all what I talk about, and I really just, I, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, Marvel Strike Force to me is just, like, a casual series that I casually come to, uh, whenever I, like, whenever I deem it necessary, it's not something that I'm going to go out of my way to, um, always do and always put forth to the forefront because, uh, I, I have other things that I think, um, are worth, uh, being placed on to my channel. And, like, for how much I don't have much information on things or it might seem like I don't care because... For this series, it's just like, I just have other things that I feel are really showcasing on this channel, and uh, Marvel Strike Force is not one of them. Um, I just play this game mostly because I love Marvel characters. Anyways, so, updates. Updates to what is all going on right now. Um, surefire enough, I had finally been able... Uh, I said in the last video I'm very close to getting Thor. Now I have Thor. Thank goodness. Um, yeah. Uh, gold is, as you can tell, is super scarce right now for me. I only have one, I only have 1800 gold right now because I've just been spamming gold, uh, to go, uh, with the, um, Symbiote Spider-Man, uh, milestones. But... I uh, kind of really went out of my way to once I could get Thor to power him up as much as humanly possible. But at the end of the day, um, I'm really liking him in the Asgardian team. I'm going to showcase uh, the Asgardian team today so you can see them in full effect and see how they are. Um, also, man, uh, it would be really great right now uh, to finally um be able to get some real blitzes uh you, you know what here's one thing whenever like people are kind of complaining about how unfarmable a lot of characters are one thing that i would like to add about that is you know what you know how to really make one character farmable put them in a blitz simple enough uh if you put a character in a blitz to me, that is making that character farmable. Um, like for, like, I only have five characters right now that I don't have farmable. Man, if they actually put those characters in an actual blitz, um, then, man, I would be able to farm them, collect them, and you would never hear one complaint from me. Because uh, a lot of the times people can go way further beyond and get as much um farming done as humanly possible on a blitz uh kind of like i have done lately with the um cyclops event speaking of which i do have cyclops unlocked uh the only problem is i don't have enough gold uh, to be able to get him a lot further along than I'd like to. But, um, this is as far as I could get Cyclops. I'm going to showcase Cyclops in this video. Um, showcasing you what his power set is, um, really. Uh, if anything, now that I finally have Cyclops, Colossus does seem much more viable to want to get. Because it seems like with that X-Men team that I have, it really does seem like they need a taunter. It does really seem like they need a person to take a lot of damage. So it does seem much more viable now than there was before to get Colossus. The only problem is with the new chapter, the Heroes Chapter 7, 
Yeah, I have not been able to get through one lick of that storyline. I have not been able to, uh, to get any further through any of these things here. Um, but yeah, I do have Yo-Yo pretty good. Uh, I do have both, uh, Karnak and Crystal, if you guys hadn't seen that on the last episodes of me trying to get that. Um... But yeah, other than that, I'm just, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling really good right now. Uh, I have kind of moved on to a different alliance. Uh, I am now with a new alliance uh, called Agents of Apocalypse. And, and yeah, I'm really feeling good about this alliance. This alliance is really substantial because ultimately... I can get so much raid credits. I can get so many raid credits uh, than I could have before. Um, I am getting so much uh, like good things out of being with this alliance. Not only in war, but also in raids. Um, yeah, I kind of like... Ultimately, like my alliance that I kind of... Uh, did my did on my own it it was just falling apart like reasonably i was just trying to like keep going keep going and just like well hopefully like things will just turn out and they just never did and then people started leaving uh even after um i changed the alliance and whatever what have you people started leaving so i'm like f it like i'm just gonna leave myself and go to a different alliance and Agents of Apocalypse, like, yeah, it's a big enough, uh, it's a big enough group. Um, and ultimately, I'm getting a lot of beneficial uh, things from it. Being able to get raids, being able to get uh, help with all kinds of things. So, yeah, definitely check out this alliance. They're a pretty powerful alliance as well. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and check them out. Uh, how am I doing on the Cyclops milestones if you already haven't seen that I've unlocked them? Um, it's mostly kind of come down to these ones here. Just me consistently spamming the Blitz. Uh, because I'm almost done with this side of the milestone. Um, this one a little bit tougher because ultimately, like, I haven't really unlocked a lot of, uh, a lot of orbs. Uh, but yeah. Uh, kind of just kind of like it's it's so super hard to uh, get high roller uh, to, to spend gold to get um, symbiote milestones recently I've uh, I've kind of wasted a lot of my uh, power cores on getting a gold orb uh, I've kind of just spent um, I've had to spend power cores just to try to get one um, up of credit uh, to be able to, um, yeah, as you can see here, this entire blitz is all done. All done. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to eventually, out of the three events that are coming up, this uh, vision uh, blitz was the only one where I could deem it necessary to want to take the time to play and play consistently. So... After kind of finishing the entire Blitz, um, let's play as the X-Men team, then we'll go to the Asgardians. Um, yeah, I, I took Strife out of my Brotherhood team, and now he's here because I think I need a Taunter on this team. Uh, I think with the Brotherhood team, I just put Night Nurse in the Brotherhood team because ultimately... Um, I just don't, I just don't need a taunter on that team right now. Like, uh, if I were to get Colossus on this X-Men team, then I would, uh, switch Scythe to the Brotherhood team, but I just, like, I don't really, I already have, uh, a tank on, um, I already have a tank on, uh, I already have a tank on the, uh, oops. Let's actually slow this down because ultimately like schematics and stuff like that of the for Cyclops for you guys to see some of the Cyclops stuff going on 
Oh no. I hope Cyclops does not get killed, because that would suck. Because I'm like, oh man, like I just came on here just to play as, um... Oh no, did Cyclops taunt? I did not want him to taunt. Well, I guess I can taunt with Scythe, so it's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh... Yeah, cause just getting familiar with uh, familiar with the uh, what's going on here, um, but yeah, uh, Psylocke, I really want to power up now. Like, I actually want to put forth some real resources into this X Men team now. Now that I have Cyclops, it's like okay, it does feel like now that there is like a real reason to like put forth the effort into this team, where as before, like. It wouldn't matter to me. Like now I'm just like okay now I have Cyclops a character that I'm really interested in and uh, trying to get um, Cyclops uh, in a good team uh, kind of actually means something to me right now. So it's like okay uh, and yeah I took um, I had Deadpool and Cable with these X-Men characters here before. Uh, now they are with uh, now they're with uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Bullseye because uh, Bullseye is a mercenary. I was like, okay, that sounds like a good uh, addition. I think I'm going to speed this up just a little bit because now uh, we've kind of been through uh, each one of uh, Cyclops is um, power sets. But yeah, I really want to beef up the uh, my Psylocke now because she's only at like six thousand. I want to make her much more prominent. Um, oh come on! All right. But yeah, I yeah. So eventually. Uh, it would be nice to get uh, maybe Colossus in an, in another Blitz. Would kind of help. Would be kind of nice. Uh, because ultimately, who's going to be able to get through uh, most of that hero chapter? Uh, chapter 7. It seems like most of the improvements, because uh, let's be honest. The improvements are only to improve the quality of life for the uh, people that pay the most right now. Um, like, that's the real true thing that's going on right now. All the quality of life that is being placed into the game is only really being put forth for the people that um, will spend the most. Um, Man, did I did I put up the volume for the the music and the the sound? Like maybe I didn't. I'll have to look into that. Um, yeah, so far so good. Like Cyclops, um, I wanna I really wanna spend some more um, gold on Cyclops, but he's he's really good. He's really uh, surprise. Well, not surprisingly, he's. Um, because ultimately you're thinking all the new characters is like, what is the point? Um, a lot of the times. Only 50! What? <laughs> no, nah, it's alright. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to look and see. Yeah, music and sound are both on. And there's no sound now. What the F is going on? Anyways, I guess that is what it is. Uh, but yeah, Hero Chapter 7, Heroes Assemble. Uh, if you guys haven't been through it yet, because um, maybe you're not that far in the game, uh, eventually, supposedly in this campaign, you're going to be able to get uh, Black Widow and Colossus. I think Colossus is the last uh, note on this one. Yeah, um... This feels like a legendary event. Like, this thing here feels like a legendary, like, the hardest. Like, I couldn't even get through the first rung of it. Um, 
and kind of you're not gonna at first be able to use uh, every single character. Um, so you have a very small portion of characters to be able to use right now. And I think that you're only going to be able to use that through certain numbers of this node. Like, I think after every three parts of this story, the entire, uh, heroes that you can use changes. So, like, once you get, uh, after I think the third rung, I think you have to use another set of heroes. After three, uh, outs, then you kind of use another set of heroes. Um... But I have yet to been able to get one lick through that, and I don't want to just uh, showcase it just to showcase it, because I won't be able to get through much of it. But let's showcase Thor, so people can see Thor, and still, I don't know why, there's basically no music. Uh, let me, once I get the Asgardian team here, let me, let me see if I can... Okay, it's, I guess, uh, whatever with the buttons. But yeah, um, so like right now, I think around the, the amount of time where I took to, like I'm almost at 200% for this blitz, but, um, oh, there's the music. Uh, I got around about like 150 was about the amount uh, to be able to unlock this character. If you guys just want to go through all the other blitzes and then casually unlock them, that's fine too. Um, I just wanted to get this uh, Cyclops character quickly because ultimately, one, I could figure out that I could spam to get more orbs. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, all the other events, like the Miles Morales and the Rescue like event for, for this thing, I didn't see that them being worth it. Um... Because Miles, I have a at pretty good standing because Blitz Store. And Rescue, like, I don't really care to put stars on her. So ultimately, I was just like, yeah, I really don't care to do those other Blitzes or whatever. Like, if anything, it'll just be something to just get more stars on Cyclops. But uh, to casually go through it and kind of casually just be like, oh, okay, like, I want to get some more gold or I want to get some more this. So I'll keep doing this Blitz. Uh, maybe because a lot of times I might not have anything better to do, but anyways, yeah, it's just kind of like, I'm just so excited to be able to get another character out of the effing way. Um, I just think that it's going to be impossible to eventually seemingly get to Coulson, um, or seemingly get to... Uh, those last five, but I've been kind of doing leaps and bounds uh, to get uh, to Mr. Sinister now. I'm almost like halfway uh, to Mr. Sinister, so I can be happy about that. Um, like Thor, like, like I guess I should probably, I could probably slow down um, showcasing Thor's schematics, but like his is pretty straightforward. Like, it's all, like, lightning bolt, lightning bolts. It's kind of, like, the amount of bigger attacks and stuff like that. There's not much um, things going on for that, but... But, yeah, but this team is, is pretty dang good. Um, like, realistically, I just need to get stars on these characters now. Um... Which I don't really even care about doing right now. It's just kind of like a, a nice, neat little uh, thing to be able to get stars on them. Because I don't care about the Black Bolt event. Um, and people may feel differently. It's like, oh no, well you should like get the, the cooler or whatever. Uh, newer, greater. Like, For me, I'm always just like, I'll get it eventually. Uh, it's not um, something that I need to go out of my way to get right now because I just I'm kind of doing okay for uh, legendaries right now I'm just kind of uh, only having Iron Man and I've used Iron Man in so many aspects of this game um, like I don't feel that I in desperation need more than that 
And I don't think I'm ever going to really get more than that. So that's completely fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I probably didn't showcase every single one of uh, Thor's, um, Thor's stuff. Thor's things. Thor's whatever. But uh, ultimately, ooh, 200. All right, good. <laughs> but yeah, uh... Yeah, even though I'm not really, like, even though I'm kind of like, hey, I'm done. Um, I'm kind of like, I've unlocked him, like, I should be fine. Like, I don't know, I'm just still just kind of grinding away. Um, just because I think I can get uh, gold out of these, out of these orbs. It's actually really great to get, like, 20,000 out of these, out of these, um, these orbs. I'm like, great, good, um... And then plus, uh, yeah. So for where I'm at, uh, for the symbiote Spider-Man, I'm only 23. <laughs> I'm only 23 just because of gold, I think, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm almost like halfway through to Mr. Sinister. I don't think he's going to be in a store anywhere. I think if anything, he's just going to be like, he's just going to be an offered character, which is completely fine. Uh, I honestly wish that they would do something with Coulson, um, because of how scarce he will be after, uh, uh, Symbiote Spider-Man and Cyclops go to the Milestone Orbs. Like, what, like, like, if Coulson is gonna become, uh, so much more scarce because I haven't gotten any pulls of him seemingly in I don't know how long lately, um, like, it would be good if they actually, like, put him somewhere. Give him a blitz. Give him a, um, give him something. Uh, give him something to where like people are uh, able to get, um, seemingly get Coulson just a little bit closer. But yeah, uh, as I've kind of kept on here, I've kind of tried to keep track of the Phoenix characters even before like supposedly this legendary event was coming up. Um. I don't think I'm going to be able to, uh, well, maybe I, I might be able to get uh, through more Mystic with, if I could really beef up, really truly beef up my Asgardians. Like, I really think I can get a little bit more through the Mystic campaign uh, and finally be able to farm Loki, but um, that's kind of a pipe dream right now. Uh, I haven't been able to really want to um center in on getting more ronin shards uh because i've kind of really have been wanting to um get mysterio shards or get rocket shards um after getting thor i'm like okay i feel like i'm done now i want to be able to get like uh mysterio or ronin shards uh especially rocket uh or or not ronin uh rocket I just kind of been uh, kind of getting really close to Mysterio and uh, Rocket getting to another star, so I think that is where my real true focus lies. Um, but God, I really, I really think that the raid characters really need to be in Blitz like every once in a while, like once a month, just kind of put a raid character in a Blitz, um, because ultimately that like even for me, like I'm still like. Even though raids are going way better than uh, I uh, I could have hoped it to be, um, yeah, it's still just like slow farming for uh, a character in raids. Um, so I'm hoping that eventually we can get uh, some of these raid characters a little bit more quicker. Uh, but I'm pretty close to six starring Nobu. Uh, other than that. None of these characters are really, uh, like, I had done the Hand Assassin, like, uh, uh, character event, whatever you want to call it, uh, in Nexus, um, as you can see here. But I haven't been able to, uh, I got through it, but I did not three-star it, so I'm not, like, that character is not technically farmable right now, um... Uh, so yeah, realistically, the only thing that I really need a hankering right now is, uh, and of course, everybody will, will talk about it like, man, uh, 
gold orbs would be nice. Gold orbs would be nice to just get, like, seemingly, like, if, if they could have one daily objective added, uh, like, at the end of the day, if you get all your dailies, you get, like, a gold orb. That would be nice. That would be one thing to just kind of add to, um, the dailies, I think, is just, at the end of the day, you get a, you get a gold orb. Um, I think that would really make a lot of things worth, um, like, worth it. Like, because ultimately, like, a lot of people, after a while, they just get tired of doing all the dailies. But if you get something as simple as just, like, well, if you accomplish all the dailies, you get a gold orb, so you can get a lot of gold. Then I'm like, oh, okay, well, then, like, I will, like, definitely want to do all the dailies, and I'll feel, like... Like, I'll feel jazzed about doing all the dailies, because ultimately, um, oops, I don't want to auto, um, like, I'll feel good about it, I'll feel, uh, in a better shape about it, because I will, um, I'll just be like, oh, okay, well, like, I really want to do dailies now, because, like, I know I can get gold now, and real substantial gold, just besides, like, me going through and finishing up all the, uh, stuff it wants me to do, and then I'll get gold on the side. Um, no, it'd just be a uh, nice gesture to just, like, at the end of every daily, you can get, um, a gold orb. So, reasonably, like, I think a lot of people are just doing dailies just to get gold. Um, so why not actually, like, even exceed that even more to just be like, okay, well, um, if people are only doing the dailies just to get gold, then, like, why not actually just, um, give them something to, like, give them a real incentive to, uh, to actually, uh, fight through the dailies. But yeah, but I think, uh, even for this spending strike or whatever... The whole thing is, like, maybe probably a lot, and I'm going to lose this freaking uh, blitz, but it doesn't really matter. I already have Cyclops. Um, but yeah, I, I really think that a lot of the improvements are only done to improve the, the whale side of it. The, the people that, that had paid, um, which is fine. Um, like, I wish there were, like, even for me, like, New players, yeah, they're feeling it, but, um, also seemingly so am I. Like, I have, like, I've, like, maxed out on my levels, but I just don't have, like, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, I don't have anywhere to just, like, like, yeah, I maxed out on all my levels, but where, <laughs> like, I don't have, like, the catch-up mechanic of being able to get into... Um, like, Dark Dimensions. I'm not gonna be able to get further along in that. Like, a lot of the substantial characters that people say, yeah, go into Dark Dimensions and use this character. I'm like, well, I don't have this character. It's like... And it seems like for... It's gonna... It seems like it's gonna take even longer now to be able to get through... Like, get into, uh... Further along into a legendary, uh event and or character like i think um for this phoenix event i'm just gonna be able to get just one more um wrong on that and then i'll just like call it a day uh which is kind of just like sad to just be like well like i guess it's just uh another year and then we'll be able to that's that's the thing i think these these legendary events should be coming either more often or like there's some um, there's some people in the community that are even saying, it's like, hey, you know what, how about for, like, newer players, we actually have, like, a real substantial character, um, to kind of help out the newer players, because, like, say, for example, there might be, like, people that are having a really huff, really hard time, um, getting through story, like, wouldn't it just be, like, a nice gesture to... Um, like, give somebody a substantial, uh, character so they can get through the story, the story faster. Like, for me, like, I, like, 
like I'm like man like I am at a like stalling point with this this and that it's like um like I think what has really helped is characters like Ghost Rider or Hela a lot of the a lot of the characters that have come up fairly recently um so it's like man like if to ever actually get like a legendary character I think would really help out um like a real substantial legendary character would uh be able to help kind of chomp along some of these some of the story things um because i think what uh, a lot of people are forgetting lately is like uh for newer players like it's like even for me i i guess i would still say that i guess i could be questioned as a newer player because ultimately again like things aren't a big uh whoopee for me <laughs> for this game um but i just kind of like uh i'm willing to work hard for certain things but not everything um and that's quite apparent that for the cyclops event me unlock unlocking him so quickly where it's like karnak and colossus and a lot of other ones i'm like i don't care about this <laughs> like i do not care about um I don't care about Karnak. What is the point of him when you don't have the, the legendary to back it up? Um, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, it's just... And just to let you know, this this symbiote, the symbiote Spider-Man event is only going to be here for 30 days. Uh, not 55 like previous, so... If you guys were thinking that you're going to have all the time in the world to eventually get um, Symbiote Spider-Man, you're only going to have 55, or you're only going to have 30 days once the starting of this event to do so, instead of 55 like it was before. Um, yeah, it just, like, there's too many things that are kind of shortened, and there's too many things that are just kind of not really helpful with uh, what's going on lately. Um... Like how, like, yeah, finally give us Black Widow and Colossus farmable, but they're not really truly farmable when, like, like, if I'm not going to be able to walk through these events, then, like, there's no point because <laughs> it's going to take a while uh, to struggle through that, and I'd love to do so. Because um, I don't care about... Um, like, oh, I don't care that I absolutely want to just smash through all these levels. No. Um, I want them to just, every time, just, like, throw a character in the Blitz. That's what is going to make a character really farmable at this point. And I think a lot of people would have that same just, yeah, I, I would feel okay about that. Like, just kind of throw a, a Coulson in the Blitz or uh, throw um, Colossus in the Blitz or throw Minerva in the Blitz. Um just to see like just to say hey like i know these characters aren't really truly and legitimately farmable like even thanos like throw in a thanos blitz why not um it seems like a lot of people are complaining about um thanos not being farmable i think i was just super lucky um when i had gotten thanos because ultimately for him like um, I had just been gotten, gotten really lucky on, uh, premium orbs. I was getting, like, 25, uh, shard pulls for, um, Thanos in premium orbs. So I was just really lucky to be able to unlock, to unlock Thanos. Uh, not a lot of people had that luxury. Not a lot of people got that, um, same kind of benefit. Um, because, yeah, I've been getting all these characters and been getting them for free, luckily for me. So that's... That's kind of why I haven't I haven't been able to like, oh yeah I could just pay my way through uh, the the symbiote Spider Man or Coulson or Minerva and just finally be done with it or um, Mister Sinister. Um, eventually it does like it is very appealing to be able to. Um, like if his, I guess his offer is already gone. His orb is already gone. That's great. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, evidently, the symbiote Spider-Man orb is already gone. So, 
I bet a lot of people were just like, yeah, well, if anything, if I can't get really uh, symbiote Spider-Man, then I'm just gonna, like, buy the orbs. Well, you're not gonna be able to do that now. Um, <laughs> but, um, I would have been more than willing to eventually, after this whole kind of event is close to being over, like, if I realized that I couldn't maybe get, um, quite a bit of, uh, of symbiote orbs, I was going to try that orb to be able to just, um, kind of see if I can unlock more, which ultimately I probably would not. But I'm going to get out of here because this was just kind of an update of new characters and talking about, uh, talking points of what's all going on for the game. Um, I'm still, uh, like, I'm still, like, on the side of boycotting. Uh, it's good to actually see people actually really um, going out of the way to kind of work for Cyclops. Um, but ultimately, I know there's a lot of people that are going to just like, well, I just want this character, so I'm just going to buy it, um, which is fine. Uh, anybody who buys new characters, it's okay if you want to do so. Um, if you have the money to be able to do so. Uh, but I was able to get Colossus unlocked in a pretty reasonable amount of time for free. So that's kind of great. Um, I can't wait for Nova to be put in here. Uh, because ultimately I feel like Nova's gonna be just another Captain America, or Captain Marvel kind of character. Um, so it'll be good to eventually see when Nova is gonna be put in the game. I'm hoping he's maybe just like a 45 shard character, but... I doubt it. He'll probably be like Captain Marvel. Will be he'll be like a hundred shards, and this and that. But uh, I'm hoping that um, Nova will have some synergy somewhere. I don't know where he could. I would hope he'd be in the Guardians team, but I doubt it. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get out of here because this video has been really long, uh, and I hadn't really done much, but just kind of talking about some things. So I'm gonna get out of here. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody.